I got flamed a lot in the last drag racing episode, which is okay. I love criticism because I don't always know what I'm doing. I jump in the deep end first and I just figure it out. But you know, a lot of people made fun of me in that video. And because so many kids roasted me and just made fun of me, I decided to double down and become a professional NHRA drag racer. Now, I do not know how to explain today. Let me just say, here's a seven second Subaru and we're gonna go get a tech right now. <laughs> The next Return of Life collection is officially here. It is live now at HartfordLTD.com. And this is the Mental Health Car Club collection. And I want you guys all to be a part of my car club. We can be involved in it together. We have three really nice hoodies. They feel like they've been worn, which is what I love so much about them. So they're like broken in and super soft. And one of my favorite things is on all the sleeves, they say, you're doing great, just as a friendly reminder. We also have a sand long sleeve shirt with the Return to Life. We got joggers. We got a t-shirt in the black as well. Return to Life jet tag. Oh. We got jet tags, the red with the white, and these really cool roped RTL hats. As a friendly reminder, 10% of all proceeds get donated to various nonprofit mental health focused organizations. Stay tuned for May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month, where I have a huge announcement going live that I'm excited to share with you guys. Right, so this is my friend Ali Afshar. He owns ESX Entertainment. He is who's Netflix, HBO films I've been in, and he is also a racing driver. He used to have the world's fastest Subaru. Actually, I think you still, still do. do. I think he still I think does. This is, this is it. We're in it right now. Twin turbo six cylinder on meth. Here we are at Bakersfield Import Face Off. We're gonna be testing the BRZ. We got our twin turbo, almost 2,000 horsepower BRZ. It's got 720s. And we're gonna try to get it to run nice and clean. We've done a lot of modifications to it. And if all goes well, my good friend, Miss Amelia Hartford, also known as Heart Chicken, we're gonna teach her how to drive this thing and put her in the driver's seat. Cause I think a lot of people would like to see her race more than this, right? I wouldn't mind going six seconds anyways. Yeah, well that's the goal. Let's yeah. see if we can get it into the sixes. But even if we can't, even if it goes sevens, it'd be fun to see you rip a seven second pass because you've never you've ran eights but not sevens right i've run nines you ran oh shit <laughs> yeah. oh shit turn the boost down and for those of you who are wondering yes this is a super motor this is an eg33 this is a flat six engine with 55 pounds of boost red and methanol and a whole lot of horsepower with a big old nasty tire in the back wheelie bars in a chute this thing is easily. This is my first time at an import face off, and this is absolutely wild. There's so many cool cars. There's a lot of Hondas out of here. I'm wagging here. Alex going out for the first time. Take the car down. It's probably been a year since this car's been brought. It's got a fresh new rebuild. It's got a fresh new It's now on a fuel tank. Shout out Anderson. <laughs> Launch. Launch was turned out a little bit. Timing was pulled out a bit. We'll just make sure that the car drives straight, but overall pretty good. I'm hanging out the side. Sure. So just have this cool, cool chubby racing race now. We don't get in. But yeah, that was the first pass. No test pass. First gear, second gear. Soft launch. Ran a 1160. Felt good. Not not powerful because we turned on the boost, but it felt good. You guys know the drill. Take her some things. Go back out there. Oh, he's using my helmet since his expired because he hasn't been drag racing in a long time. It's been a whole year. There's cobwebs in this car. And my butt. Okay, we're currently staging to take another hit. You guys, oh my god, I have such crazy news. And I guess, you know, from the title of this video, I am going to be taking over to professionally race as an ESX driver. And I'm gonna be piloting this world's fastest Subaru behind me. Which is Back to where it all started, baby. Never in a million years would I have thought that one day I'd be professionally racing a Subaru. That just sounds weird to say.
this point, Surrey in some sea time with the car in preparation for the upcoming season. But he's actually winning the Outlaw class. So he's got one more race. He's gonna run the final guy. And whoever takes this wins Outlaw here at Import Face Off. Allie, you actually have to drive now. I do. So I said it last time we were here at the track. Everyone here at Famosa Drag Strip is just family. And on top of that, Import Face Off, the guy who runs it, Cliff, has been so incredibly hospitable and amazing and sweet. So thanks, Cliff, for having us. I look forward to doing more with this, but I haven't told you guys everything yet. We're gonna have to rip that off and put Amelia Hartford. The idea is I'm actually going to be competing in NHRA this season. Are you rolling right now? <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Why? So this is for the record with witnesses here. <laughs> Miss Amelia Hartford, you do know that this car is dangerous and could cause diarrhea and death. Are you sure you're gonna do this? You're not gonna sue me. <laughs> no. What if you lose your picky toe? I didn't need it anyways. You heard, everybody heard. This is a disclaimer, which is not really valid in law anyway, so, right? Yes. Anyone who's in this industry knows Josh Deeds and knows that we are in great hands. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's not Let's making you feel very good. Yes, like you show, show her the picture. We'll try it out. Show her the picture of the bird. <laughs> okay, can we go? Yeah. We don't know if the bump box works, but the car's fast. We're gonna go in another seven second car in the Outlaw Finals right now. Got a, do a little staging games here, so we'll see what happens. This might also come out as a total shock to you guys. This is your first time eating Alley. I usually don't put a lot of my studio exec friends in on the vlogs because of respecting privacy, but Alley's also a car guy. I think you guys are gonna start seeing a lot more of him, especially with this crazy freaking opportunity that he's blessed me with this year. I used to race with a guy in the radial stuff, 85 years old. There was a guy who was late 80s here, went 200 on a bike the other week. <laughs> on a bike. On a bike. I couldn't believe it. There's so much tire smoke inside. Whoa. Oh my god, my heart sank. Dude. It was cars going all over the place. I seen it smoke. I think it broke. I think the engine popped. Almost lost it. I know. What did it go? Uh, 785. He won. won. The yeah, motor didn't. Won. Well, it went into th right when it went into third gear. Allie has a problem with never lifting. That car got so sideways. What did it break? The Rough. hole underneath is oily. The top end, I was going like this. I, we saw, we saw oh, it. Going on to the point, I never lift. I had to lift. It blew a transmission Dude, line off. Dude, it was skating hard. Yeah, we watched. Uh, first it. of all, I didn't red light, right? No, you won. Win? Yeah, you won. But it's the transmission. You didn't need to say that. He balked. He ran like a nine something. It wasn't I wasn't looking back. I know. I'm, like, I'm going for it until the very end. Did we go seven or eight? Seven eight. Well, the motor. Uh, still good then. I think the I don't know. It's just, if you look underneath the yeah. hole, everything is soaked. Dude. Transmission line. It you blew it the off. line off. Is that where? It blew the, line the one off. we were just talking about, the pressure line. Yeah. Bro, you were you were sideways. I was like, why, I was like, why, I was like, why is it going like this? I'm like, fuck, fuck. Imagine that was your first time driving it. I know. <laughs> just skating. I'd be like, oh god. You guys can see it soaked underneath. I, so what you guys want to do? Top it off? Go again? I don't know how he's gonna be able to clean everything. If it's, we want to get it up and clean the bottom, I'm sure we can get a line. Okay, Turn the boost down and put her in it. Congratulations on that hey, job. Hey, hey, we did it, we did it. A little seven second pass. We had an issue with the transmission. It really had no back end. Uh, the second half of the track, we only got eight mile an hour. So you know, instead of going 190 something, we only went 150. Sideways. Still, uh, sideways, yeah, it's a little scary. Uh, yeah, I felt it. And I don't lift. I don't think I've ever lifted on the top end, but that was to the point where it's just like, okay, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, no, no, it's not okay. You yeah. know what I mean? It was like, I was gonna hit the wall. So I had to lift, but luckily we got the win. That's all that matters, Subaru. Luckily it wasn't the engine, so fortunately. We might be able to go back out, we'll see. We're gonna take a look at things. I'm gonna go ask the people with some brake cleaner, see if we can clean that up so I can drive. I don't even know what to say. I'm in a seven second Subaru right now. I'm about to do the fastest run and launch that I've ever done. My first time using a line log, my first time staging, my first time with one of these. Part of what coming to these events is going to give me is my time slips to get my advanced DT, which means I can run 750 and faster in NHRA. So it seems like a lot, but this is kind of how you do your licensing. I'm just thankful the first time I'm in such a quick car, it is here at Faboso. Because I know these guys have got my back. God forbid anything happens.
we got? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When did I run? 8-0. 8 0 8 Yeah. Yeah, it felt good easy, right? It was slow. Yeah. <laughs> it was slow. <laughs> it feels good, yeah. yeah. Thank you. How's the logs look? You left early. I didn't build enough boost to properly launch. I got overzealous. I got eager and I just sent it. 1,000 RPM early and 25 pounds oh early. Oh my god. But it's good. But it didn't shift into third because the CO2 bottle was empty anyway. Still ran an 80 pinning the limiter. What's with me and pinning these limiters lately? It's good for you. 17 pounds of it up the lights. Here you guys go. Let's look at the actual time slip. Taking a look at this. This has just been a wild day. This all happened. We've been talking about this since Amanda works for a very long time. Then all of a sudden I was like, we're doing this today. Come out. So I was like, I'm there. So quarter mile, 8093. Mile per hour, 151. This is the fastest I've ever been. Ignore the reaction times. My 60 foot was a 128. So the fastest I've ever been in a 60 foot was in the Sea Corvette, and that was a 13. So I'm gonna hang on to this one for a little while. Mr. Hollywood producer is taking my Cadillac back home. I I'm am, driving I the am. Jag. You got the this short end faster. of the. You got the short so end of the deal. You got the Subaru. I got the. Cadillac. Sure. <laughs> Good job they do. Hey, no, let's see. When the car's running right, it doesn't feel fast. It feels smooth. Sure. Like when I ran the 7.2, I was like, oh, this is clean, you know? Yeah. But then when it's shaking in this, it's nuts. No, it felt good. Like a yeah. breeze. We'll see you soon. Driving home never gets old. Currently sitting in Ali's Jaguar since he stole the Cadillac. Sean was happy to drive this V8. It's slow. <laughs> I'm flying. Step on it. Supercharged or just old? I think it's supercharged. Yeah. yeah. It's got a little wine. There's a wine to it, but I can't tell if that's a supercharger or it's just old age. <laughs> yeah, your little supercharger there's a little wine. wine. Yeah, there's a wine there. Man, today was amazing. There's a lot of gnarly sick Hondas out there. A lot of sick cars. I'm showing up kind of new to the import face-off scene. I've actually never been to an IFO event before, but I will definitely be back. I had such a great time. And honestly, the crowd was very welcoming. But you guys, I ran my fastest pass in my entire life today. I ran an 8.0 at 151. It's insane. The car could have gone faster. And after looking at the video footage and looking at the data logs, I realized that one, I could not hear well enough. I didn't know when I left. I was so nervous about using a line log, using a stage button, doing all these things. Um, that I didn't let the car build enough boost to launch, but that's okay. It took off. It was still a 1-2, which is still the fastest 60 foot I've done, but it was so loud in the car. Literally, it's a tin can and all the sound is like bouncing out the wall and I couldn't hear anything with the helmet, but I still sent it. They told me to lift after a second and I didn't, and I figured they just put a tune on it that wouldn't let me keep going, so I was just pinning the limiter. Go to find out uh, that we actually ran out of CO2 on the bottle, so it wasn't shifting in the third, but now I know. Subscribe to you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. You can watch the fun stuff we do.